everybody, I'm Gaz Williams, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the Express V Touche. Now, I should mention this is sponsored content. Um, Express V wanted me to do this, so I'm dead chuffed. I love this thing, so it's a real pleasure for me. So just get out that out of the way. I'm sure many of you will be familiar with the Touche. It's been around for maybe a couple of years now. Now, this is the full Touche. Uh, you can get the Touche SE, which is just a USB controller. But this one, it has MIDI out uh, on mini jacks and also CV out as well. There are four CV outputs. So if we look at the back of the Touche, we can see orange, pink, green and blue. So uh, Green is when you press up, blue is when you press down, orange to the left, pink to the right. What we've got here is the DFAM, this is like a drum machine, the drummer from another mother, and then we've got the subharmonic on, which is like a kind of chordal thing. It's uh, I made a video about this, <laughs> if you don't know what it is. And then uh, this is the Mother 32, which is a monosynth. And the outputs of this are going into the tri parallel mixer from Electro Harmonics. Guitar pedal really, but it's got three effects loops. So I'm using it like a mixer. It's got EQ on each channel and these switches act as mutes. Then the output of that is going in to the Strymon Volante, which is the magnetic echo machine. Uh, everything's mono until we get into the Volante and then that gives us a little bit of, a little bit of stereo spread. Let's dive in and make some cool sounds. So if we go into Lie, which is the configuration software for Touche, we can set it up in a bunch of ways. So let's do that. We'll go in here and we're going to create a bunch of presets. First thing then, let me uh, create in the menu. I'm going to go new hardware preset and let's not save. Okay. And now here we're going to the CV menu and actually this looks great. Yeah. So this is fine. So this will be our basic one. We'll just save that. And now what we'll do is we'll create another one. And in the curves, let's give it, let's, let's make it exponential. Yeah. Let's, let's do that on each curve. So this will have a very different, a very different feel to it. We can go in and draw, you see, but I think we'll, uh, we'll keep that the same on here. This is the memory view now where we can load our presets into the slots here. So, and you can see these blue dots here, they, they equate to the, the colored dots on the, uh, on the touche. So I'm now going to save in touche and this is now taking those presets and writing it into the firmware on the Touche so I can use it without it being connected to the computer. So when you've got your CV outputs configured, you can start to really explore the playability of this thing. Here, I've got it all plugged into the subharmonicon. On this patch, I'm actually controlling the pitch of the sub oscillator. So there's the patch playing. If I bring the sub level up now. So I can vary where that 
note is playing. By pressure. And I've got a filter on the back here. So if I don't play, the sub will follow the sequence like that. So. So you can find melodies in there. What we're going to do here is take the touche and map the filter of the uh, of the subharmonicon to pressing forward and open the filter of the mother 32 if we press back. And I'm also going to send the sequencer out of the subharmonicon into the mother 32 as well. So we're driving the same notes um, from this sequencer one. So let's have a play with that now then. So it opens the filter of the subharmonicon. Hear that open. And now opens the filter. Moving it to the left or the right changes the rhythm, changes the speed of the rhythm. So it's going slow here, and then it'll go faster if I move it to the right. release it's not really making any sound or slight amount of sound so that's a mother 32 and that's a subharmonic on so you can kind of morph almost between the two can be configured not just in software but physically as well if you take this lid off you've got this slider which affects its left and right movement if I moved it all the way to the bottom then 
it's a lot looser. Slide it up to the top, makes it a lot stiffer. And that has a huge effect on the playability. But not only that, there is a little optional extra. You can get these different cylinders. Now these little rubber cylinders, they're the kind of, uh, they they're the kind of thing that governs how soft or how hard it is to press down. So black is harder, white is softer, and then the, this kind of salmony one is in the middle. So uh, let's put a black one on the front here. So when I put the lid back on, oh, Expressive E offered different ones of these as well in different woods. Um, but now pressing down there is a lot harder. But if we flip it over and have a look underneath, there's this little pull-out bit here, and this is the rear one, here. So, let's put a white one, the soft one, in there. Like that. So we mix and match, so now it's softer here and harder there. So you can kind of use it a bit like a drum as well, where you can tap on it and use both hands and maybe do something a bit like this. to use the touche like an instrument here if I just trigger a note you can hear me change the pitch of the bass hear that the Expressive E Touche in conjunction with the uh, Moog Semi-Modulars. Um, I'm Gaz Williams. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much to Expressive E for sponsoring this video. <laughs> what a lucky man I am. Anyway, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>